Your Excellency, because of the nature of our work, we make orders against you all the time. We make others in your favor. We do this. And that naturally creates friction in some way or another. When it involves your, your, your junior officers, it's like you, you get, we, we get problems. We can't even access IFMIS. So we, 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 get, we have no funds. As a result of that, Your Excellency, the Constitution, the, 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 the framers of the Constitution said, let the judiciary uh, budget, as soon as it is passed by Parliament, be deposited in the judiciary fund. We have developed regulations for that uh, fund. We have even uh, opened uh, an account here, Jay, you have completed. We are opening an account in Central Bank for the judiciary fund. And we are going to have modalities of uh, payment of the, of the judiciary fund into that account. Your Excellency, as I said, we live in this country. We know the, the economic challenges. If we were to sit down with the Treasury and they say, look, rather than take all the money, including uh, pay for December in January and put it in your account, let us remain with it here and we give you this in piecemeal. We, wa we have no problem with that. But other, other, other sums of money, like for, uh, for, uh, for operational expenses and the development, let us have that and we move on. We, we, are, ready, we are ready to cooperate and we will have no, no problem. But if, if you understand where we are coming from, you will assist us and that we will move forward and, and, and go on. I'm, I'm coming to an end. The, the other thing I want to speak about, Your Excellency, is about the corruption cases. I know that touches your heart. You have spoken about it, and you have even uh, criticized us uh, about the, the way we go. I want to concede, and I have done that before, that there are times we have not been as quick as we are required to do. But we have challenges which some people, even, and I want the members of the public to understand this. Right now, my people are hearing uh, some of the uh, corruption cases that have come to Milmani. In fact, 10 of them, them 10 magistrates are not doing anything else except hearing those cases. The problem we have here, Your Excellency, is this. You have a file with 10, 15, 20 accused persons. Some of those come with two lawyers. These are rich people. One witness, there is one case, I was sitting with the magistrates uh, last week. One witness in one case has taken 30 days. 30 days, and I said, what the hell are you, he says, CJ, please listen. The amount of documentation that is being produced, being referred to, there is no way you can, you can move faster. We are, we are making very good progress. I'm convinced, as I told you, I, I have sat with those magistrates. The cases are being dealt with, uh, and, and they are moving steadily. Most of them are at the tail end. They are going to be uh, concluded. I don't want to tell you when, because they didn't tell me. Uh, they are going to be concluded, and we will be able to deal with that. Uh, recently, you spoke about uh, the Akasha case. I agree with you, Your Excellency. That is a shame to our country. That is a shame to our country. And as I, as I have said before, it is one matter that, uh, that embarrasses every one of us. But I'm sure you, you, have, you have reports and you know how that is done. It is not only the judiciary. It, is, it involves literally all of the stakeholders in the justice system. In short, Your Excellency, in short, Your Excellency, we are not asking for too much money. We are not asking for too much money. Let us be considered as an arm of government. The, the, the amount we are asking, for example, Your Excellency, we can't, we can't get even to a quarter of the Minister of Health. And we understand, because we are the ones being treated in those hospitals. We can't get even to a quarter of what goes to the Ministry of Education. 
We understand because it is our children who are in those schools. All we are asking from the budget, like it has happened in other countries, give us a percentage of 2.5%. Start, start with even 1.5%, uh, and we will be able to run our affairs smoothly. We will be able to move judges from one station to another when there is a backlog in one station, and we will be able to go ahead and, and deal with the cases. For this country to prosper, Your Excellency, we have, we have made uh, benchmark visits to countries like Singapore. Singapore here has cases in less than two years. Ours... And, and you know, we are a very litigious society. We file cases literally on every dispute that we have. Like uh, people from, uh, I don't want to mention communities because I might be, be lynched. <laughs> <laughs> they, they say, to kutana kutini. What that has, Your Excellence, is that we are having more than 400,000 cases being filed every year. With the, with the resources, with the human resources we have, we are able, and I can assure you, Your Excellency, these judges here and the masters, some of them uh, are extremely stressed. They work round the clock. But Your Excellency, there is so much you can do. You can do only as much. With that, we are only able to reduce, we, are, we have cases coming of about more than 400,000, but we are able only to dispose of about three, three, 350 and others, meaning the backlog will continue uh, uh, by, uh, building, and we are not going to move. And as I said, Your Excellency, we are going to have very, very serious problems if we cannot uh, get resources so that we, we move forward. Lastly, Your, Your Excellency, I want to mention about our people in the diaspora. They have cases here. You know, uh, it is a fact. They are the greatest foreign income uh, exchange earner to this country. So that is a constituency we must address. We have put in place systems to have a virtual court. A virtual court is where we can hear the case from here, and a witness is in, in, in Washington. He testifies when he is in, in Washington. In fact, as a matter of fact, we have already spoken to the embassies. I spoke with the, our, our High Commissioner in London. He's ready to give us a room there. Uh, we have spoken with the High Commissioner in, in Washington. He's ready to give us a, a room there. So that we have those people go to those places and they will be happy to go there. And we have their cases heard from there and we move on. In short, what I'm saying, Your Excellence, and I'm asking the Kenyans, and I'm asking the members of parliament that the judiciary is your institution. You want cases to be heard and disposed of as quickly as possible, give us funds.